Hey, I'm Jeremy Short. Um, I am one of the um, area staff here at Keene Fort Worth Area Pathfinders and Texas Conference. And what I'm going to be going over is some stuff for the Pathfinder Duct Tape Honor. That's an honor where you're going to make things and do stuff with duct tape. Now, while I am specifically gearing this for Pathfinders and um, the Duct Tape Honor, um, anyone from really any organization or group that's wanting to be able to make things with duct tape could use this as a guide for being able to assemble things together. So first, what we're going to look at is the Honor, and I'm going to show you exactly what all over the Honor I am going to cover. I'm not going to go over every little detail on this. A lot of this is going over the history of it, being able to do some basic um, stuff, you know, just tearing apart duct tape, what duct tape is useful for, um, some actual, um, some little spiritual object lessons. I'm using duct tape as a um, tool for that and as a um, metaphor for that. So those are all um, important parts of it, but that's all stuff you can kind of figure out yourself. What we're going to mainly go over is how to craft things with duct tape. And the main thing that we are going to be crafting is going to be requirement number nine, and that is build a boat that will float a two kilogram or five pound sack of flour for five minutes while preventing the flour from getting wet. You may use other materials to create a frame, but the majority of the hole should be made from duct tape. So I'm gonna show you how to build is a duct tape boat. While it is a boat, this is kind of a barge here. And I'm gonna do this um, and assume that you're gonna be not having a whole lot of time to really work on it. If you have a lot of time, you can fancy up what I've done here. This is gonna be to help you be able to do it really, really quickly. The time frame that we're looking at, um, I have taught this um, in three hour blocks and been able to cover everything. You could probably compress it down to two, but you would really, really have to um, bang through that really fast to be able to get that done in two hours. But I think it would be possible. And at the end of this, I'm gonna go over some things to show you how to compress the time frame down on this to make it a little bit quicker to teach. So exactly what are you gonna to need to be able to build a duct tape boat like this? Well, there's a lot of different ways you could go about it. As the requirement said, you're gonna want duct tape or some brand of it for the main part of it. Now, there are a lot of different things you could use for the frame. We ended up getting a bunch of wire coat hangers. You can buy these on um, Amazon and get them really cheap because there's still a lot of these used for um, the dry cleaning industry um, and uniforms and anything like that. Still uh, prefer these cheap metal hangers versus the plastic ones. So you can get these and have them not be really expensive. As for the tools you need for the duct tape, um, the main thing you're going to need to be able to have, um, besides just your hands, you could pretty much just do it with your hands for the duct tape. It is a little bit better if you have a pair of scissors. You're going to want to get some nicer scissors here. These are some from Home Depot that are designed for cutting through like fabric and stuff. You will find that your scissors are going to gum up because they're just going to build up the adhesive from the duct tape on them. And it's not so much that you're getting duct tape caught in there, but just the adhesive builds up and the easiest way I found to get that off is actually just a rag and some hand sanitizer um, which you probably will have hand sanitizer around anyway for working with the wire coat hangers you're going to want to have some sort of uh, metal clippers on it there and then you can clip the wire with so I filmed making this thing here and so I'm going to um, show you how to lay all of this together. For the actual boat, you're gonna wanna just use some of the nicer duct tape there. You don't wanna go with really cheap stuff, but you don't necessarily need to go name brand. But you wanna get good enough that it'll actually hold up well. For some of these smaller projects that they need to do, you can get um, 
packs of colored duct tape that's generally not as thick and not as durable but they're very good for like crafting and you can buy a number of those and end up with like five or six different colors available for them to work with on stuff and so try to keep those for the smaller projects and keep your other duct tape for the larger ones so what you're going to start with is you're going to make strips of it and you're going to lay them down on the table and you're going to lay them down sticky side up and you're going to overlap them you're going to have one strip be there the next one will start about half of the way into that one and then you'll lay that one down and then you just kind of keep doing layers there if you really want to save the duct tape you can measure it off and make sure you're really precise with it there so you don't have a lot of excess left over that you end up cutting off if you're really needing to get through on time you can just kind of eyeball it and cut it there you'll definitely need to watch the kids doing this because they will waste a lot you can kind of look at how big you want to make it there but i generally went with um, the width of this coat hanger here and then however deep we want to make the boat i made the boat roughly um, one coat hanger width wide each direction there um, although you could make it shorter one direction and take a little bit of uh, time and cost off of this but you're just going to keep laying that down and keep making more and more of it and just lay it down there trying to keep the bubbles out of it until you get like a big long sheet of it all the way down to there once you get that to the size that you need it then what you're going to do is you're going to start laying down the tape the other direction and that is with the sticky side down and the um, silver cloth side up and this is where you've got to really make sure that you set it right because once you put that on there it's really difficult to pull duct tape uh, the sticky off of sticky you can pull the sticky side off of the silver but pulling the sticky off the sticky is really difficult and you just need to make sure you get that on there very smooth a few bubbles is not a big deal but you just want to get it down there really cleanly and the more clean you get it then the less room there is for leaks and for water to get through so then you'll do that you want to lay it down to where you're not putting the edge of the tape against any of the other seams or edges that are already there you want to space it between those then you will do that and you will do that all the way down then what you'll end up with will be a big double-sided duct tape sheet that will just have the silver side and all the adhesive in the middle and that will make you something that will be pretty remarkably waterproof it will let some through um, especially as we have to um, craft around it um, but that's going to be the best way to do that there and that's what you're going to make your hole out of everything that's going to be against the water you want to be on that double sided duct tape there and that is exactly what the whole bottom hole of this boat is is that double sided tape all the way around and while that double layering is really good for the boat this is also what you're going to make a lot of your smaller things out of if you want to make a bag or a wallet out of duct tape this is what you would use to do that with you would make those sheets and then put it together and then use other pieces of it to put it all together and this is where a lot of those little smaller projects that they have to make because they have to make like five smaller items um, there's also some ways to do that um, and like swirl it around and make kind of a little duct tape rose I'm not any good at that but some of the girls will see that and figure that out really quick you know, I had one kid that just made like a box and had a lid on it and went on it there had one that just like made a cube and he just made like a couple of cubes and I'm like what are they doing he's like I don't know it's just a cube and I'm like well it's a thing you have to decide on the design of your boat I decided to do it this way um, as we can see this is a little bigger um, than it needs to be really for the um, for the flower there it could probably be um, probably not quite half as wide and I think it would still be buoyant enough to float it and then you wouldn't have to oh, getting flour everywhere 
but then you wouldn't have to make it quite as big. What I have done here is a double hole design to where we have a hole on the bottom and then we kind of have a floor that will be up here. And the reason for that is to get the duct tape off of the bottom so that it is not sitting directly on the bottom of the boat. You could do it that way, but then if you have any type of leak, it's not gonna be able to hold it there. And if you do it this way with a double hole, you'll be able to um, get the duct tape not touching the bottom there. So the way we did it was to take these here, you snip this at some spots there and bend it into a um, kind of oval like that. And you'll make a bunch of these that will go around. Then what I would do next is um, we'll have some that we'll just cut here and here and we'll take these straight pieces and we'll just run the straight pieces to be ribs that go the other way around to hold it together. So I have one way this way that I have the looped ones going and then this way that I have the bars going and you could shorten the bars up a little bit and change the um, length of the um, boat here. Then it's going to be time to attach the boat to it there and there's a couple different ways you could go about it. I've seen it done a number of different ways. As far as working with the corners, you can either fold in the corners or cut them and tape around them. And there, there's pros and cons of both sides there. It'll look cleaner if you cut them and go over it. And so if you cut it and tape over it, that will look a lot cleaner and will probably go quicker. But it's also going to be a little bit more prone to um, getting a leak in it because you've got, you've kind of broken that um, seal that you had it around it there. You may more want to do it kind of like folding it over, kind of like you're wrapping a present and then use duct tape to seal over it. That way it may make it bulge a little bit in the corners. If you want to get fancy and you have time to like make it kind of look more like a boat, you know, with a different shaped hole on it, you're welcome to do that. Um, but I said, this is showing you how to do this on her quickly. And if you're going to do this in two to three hours, um, you're going to have to make a lot uglier boat because you're just not going to have time to have a bunch of kids be able to put it together really really pretty that quickly once you get that on there you don't need to make a double-sided thing on the top because we're not really so concerned about that being waterproof there that just that needs to be able to sit on it technically you could probably just leave the wire frame there and have it sit on that wire frame and not even have the duct tape over it it just looks a little bit better but if you're really really needing to like cut down on the amount of tape being used that's one place where you could cut down a lot lastly you'll want to put a wall around it the wall is important um, just because this will as it displaces water, this will go down into the water a little bit um, from the weight of the flower. You're going to want to have a little bit of a, a wall up around it. Now, that wasn't a big deal because this one, when we ended up floating it, as you'll see in a bit, really it was like up to around here. And it wasn't really a problem. So it did pretty well there. So the wall didn't really have to be all that tall, but it's nice to have it there and gives it a little bit more of a look. After that, Kids, of course, will want to personalize it. They can make a little duct tape flag. If you got the colored duct tape, they can make some little design to put up there. Use one of these bars as a mast. They can name their boat. I named this the Tapey McTape Face because it's a boat. And it should be Tapey McTape Face. And so how did Bodie McBoatface do? Well, this is a little bit bigger one than what I have made in the past. We usually made them a bit shorter than this. And so it really didn't have much trouble floating in. I put it in there and we watched it float. And it's supposed to stay in there for five minutes. And at 15 minutes, it was still in there floating and was fine. Now, some of y'all might call this a cheat. And I'll let y'all decide what y'all think of it. But this is where that second layer there comes in tapey mctape face did take on some water in here okay now i said i cut the corners on it instead of like folding them in it might have been better to fold them um done it both ways in the past um, and i've cut them and had it seal up fine this one really just didn't seal quite as tightly it was getting in a little bit of water in there somewhere but that water never got up enough to where it got 
over this. It was always um, well below that as it built up water. Now, if we left it in there, it probably would have eventually um, eventually taken on enough water that it would have sunk. I had it in there for 15 minutes and was just kind of tired of waiting on it and pulled it at that point um, because I had to um, get the hot tub closed back up and just didn't want to wait around any longer on it. We had some that we built in the past. We've had one that stayed in. Um, we put it in at the start of a meeting because um, they finished up building it right at the end of a meeting. And we put it in at the start of a meeting um, and it stayed in there through the whole meeting. Like it, it was in there for like two hours and the um, meeting was over and we hung around another 30 minutes on it and it was still floating. And at that point we were just kind of like, we want to go home. I've taught it a couple times at the club and once at the area honors day. There were several of them that were made at area honors day, but going through all of those, we didn't have any that completely ever went down. We had one group um, at area that made one that was having some trouble um, and that one it, it, it was barely hanging on like you could see water starting to get even up above the other um, the other hole here but the flower was still dry where they had positioned the flower so it stayed dry but that one was not doing well all the others held on a while some of them took on water just like um, tapey McTape face here but most of them um, but pretty much all of them stayed up and it's not that hard, especially with the double hole here to uh, be able to get it to stay up. Um, and that's why I'm kind of recommending this design because this is a very quick one to put together. It's one that's very simple and it's one that has a very high success chance because you don't want the kids to build it because it will take them a while to put this together and then have it not work. I mean, at a club event, you could, you know, possibly take some time to make it and do it over again. But if you're going to be doing this as a group that's coming through there at some sort of area conference or union event, you're not going to be able to have them take time to rebuild another one of these. And so they're just not going to get the honor done. How much tape does it take? How many people can you do at a time on it? Well, that's a good question. All right, I had bought some rolls. These are 30 yard rolls of duct tape here. And you're like 30 yards. That sounds like a lot. And it, it, it is a lot. I went ahead and did math on this here. And a 30 yard roll will actually give you 15 square feet with the um, two inches there. It will give you 15 square feet of duct tape. That's not overlapping it. That is if you were to just put it down edge to edge and not overlap. Well, how much is 15 square feet? Well, if you think about a standard flag, a standard three by five flag, that is 15 feet. So that's how much you have to work with there. And you gotta think that you're gonna have a lot of waste. You're gonna have tape that you're doubling up on that you think about the bottom of that there. We have layers going over layers that way. And then we come back and go over it again. So really you're using about four times as much tape as the um, area of your hole. You're using about four times that. Plus you got all the other tape that you need for like holding it together for places, for building the wall, just for waterproofing over it. You wanna put a lot of tape on it there to make sure that you get all the seams cleaned up so that it will take on as little water as possible. Then if you end up covering over this part here, this is going to use about twice as much tape as the area on the top here. For this one here, I used slightly over two rolls making this. Okay, I did have some excess and I did have some cut off and I had some that threw away. Unless you are really, really supervising these kids a lot, you're probably gonna have a lot of waste because they're not going to be as careful. So for the boat, we did two rolls per boat, two full rolls, for each boat, maybe a little bit more. Um, 
if you size it down a little bit you can make it a little easier there you're gonna need four or five hangers this way another four or five that way for each one um, the hangers are pretty cheap and you get them in big lots of quite a bit I, mean, I forget how many was in this big box but it was like a hundred and something so you don't need a whole lot on the hangers for it you want to make sure you have enough scissors to go around to help things you're going to want to have some duct tape to use for the smaller things you may want to have some silver available but also you can buy some of the multi packs uh, with colors to make sure you have enough there and that will be for all of their smaller stuff that they're going to make you're probably going to want to have at least a roll for every kid on that so each kid will need a roll for each boat which you're probably going to have this done in groups because um, you're just not going to be able to get this done you're not going to be able to budget enough for each kid and you're not going to be able to um, have enough time to make these this here took me a little over an hour by myself to make it so as a group you can see how long this would take and you've got the other um, stuff that they have to make beforehand um, so i said three hours very doable two hours could probably get it done so we'll say with 20 kids in a group um, you could make four boats okay so you need two rolls for each boat so you're gonna need quite a few rolls to get through all of that there now as far as being able to get this all done in time there's a lot of things that they have to make they have to make a number of small individual things they make can make like one complex thing like a bag or something because you can make a bag with a handle of seeing kids make hats you can make all this stuff they're gonna have to make a lot of small things too to be able to get through this in time if you're doing it in a short period so they have to be a lot of smaller decorative things and maybe like one nicer thing just to manage the time and the amount of tape that they end up using you're also um, on the parts where you've got to talk to them about things you're gonna have to talk to them about the history of duct tape talk to them about the components of duct tape you've got the um, spiritual lessons that you have to do with duct tape that may have to happen at the same time that they are crafting things once they get the basic portion of it done now I know sometimes they don't always pay attention once they start working on something it can be a little bit more fun to keep their attention uh, while they're doing stuff but that may be the type of things that have to happen to get that all done quickly one other thing to think about on there is what you're going to float your boat in because that is important there are two things that I've used um, well I used a hot tub at my house but for teaching it for pathfinders um, the other things I have used have either been a large cooler because sometimes we have these large coolers that we use and when we're not camping they're just sitting around empty so at the church that was great to use um, when we taught it at another location we just had like a kiddie pool that we used um, to fill up you gotta think about how you're gonna get water out to wherever you're teaching it at if you're not teaching it right in a building and that's a basic look at the duct tape honor and making the duct tape boat hopefully this is a good resource for all of you so that you can see how to do this